<laughs> yes, Joshua finished another course on EDX General Chemistry One <laughs> University level by offered by MIT. Joshua finished another course on EDX, Channel Chemistry 1 University level offered by MIT. Mm. Certificate. Louder. Yes, verify certificate. Joshua Thomas M. Suleiman, Channel Chemistry 1, Atoms Molecules Bonding by MITx. Uh, so here's the... We're just covering the certificate nice. ID for security reasons. Yes, this here, the professor of chemistry and the vice president for open learning, which the I think the founder of this EDX, MITx, the associate dean. Okay. Okay, so here's the course outline. So this is the module zero. It goes from it goes from module zero all the way to module seven, and then all of the exams, the midterms, and the finals. So here's the introductory chemistry review, and it's uh, it's just more of a like a introduction, and then it's the uh, atoms, electrons, and photons. So here, uh, it gets when when you reach the photoelectric effect, you have to study uh quantum mechanics to understand the wave functions, etc. Here, and module, after the module, module two, one, there's a problem set. Yes, for uh, for every module, there's a problem set. And problem so set one is. Consists of 14 questions. Okay, mm -hmm. now module 2. For module 2, it's also about quantum mechanics. So here's the wave functions that it says here. And then probability density, and then another module, another problem set. set. So the midterms. Midterm 1, exam 1, which is then, time, right? Yes, time, uh, I think it's... Two, for 2 hours. Yes, 2 Maximum hours. For 2 hours, maximum of 2 hours. So you um, finish it. I finished it in like a 30 yes. minutes. 30, 30 minutes, yes. 40 minutes. And then here's uh, module 3. Multi-electron atoms, periodic trends. And then you get a problem set. 70 questions. So there's, uh, for, there are three modules for bonding. So that's module 4, 5, 6. So here's bonding part 1, so the fundamentals. Yes. And then ionic bonding, which you have to understand the harpoon mechanism, etc. And you get the problem set. And then here you have to... Understand Lewis structures, Vesper, and uh, molecular geometry. They have to make their, their they have a they have a widget that uh, make, that uh, that allows you to make your own structures. And then there's uh, another, another midterms, midterms. Two, which is also timed. Also two hours. Maximum uh, uh, allow allow time is two hours, and you finish it also in, like, in less than an hour. Yes. So here's the third and final part of module uh, bonding. So it's module six, hybridization, which the mm -hmm, is the Venus bond theory (VBT) and molecular orbitals, the molecular orbital theory (MOT). You have to make your own molecular orbital diagrams too. So there's a uh, problem set six, and then finally the last module, which is intermolecular forces and gases. So these are like the dipole dipole uh dipole dipole attractions etc. And you have to do the kinetic gas theory, which is not just like ideal gas theory. It's uh, it needs it needs actual kinetics of the particles involved. So here's the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. That's where you took some time because it was not discussed yet, right? Do yes, and molecular collisions. So yes. the, I I did not know at least three modules here. Ah uh, no, I did not know. Yes, three modules. That is module one, module two, and module seven. Most of them I did not know, except for this one, intermolecular interactions. So here's the final exam. That is uh, four hours long because it has forty questions. Forty questions for our uh, max, uh, maximum allowed time was four hours. Yes. yes. Okay, so here are my scores for the this is the course overview. So here is the first. This is the first uh, homework. So this one hundred percent for this for module one, and then for module two, it's also one hundred percent. Actually, it was I think ninety five percent. But uh, when I was already here at module seven, I was able to solve the the last problem and got to one hundred percent. 
So for homework 3, this is a uh, 88%, and for homework 4, 85%. Before this before was it. yes, this before this was 77%, but I solved another one, so it became 85. And then this is homework 5, 95%. The problem set for homework 5. I only made I only made one mistake here. So here this is a uh, perfect this is problem set six and problem set seven also one hundred percent. So the entire homework average is ninety five percent. So it's the, the first midterms. Sets. Yes, for the midterms, it's the first midterm which is encompasses module one and module two. So that's uh, a 85 percent. And then midterms two is three four five. Or oh, just three four five, yes. So this is seventy seven percent. So the entire midterm average is eighty one percent. So uh, here these are the interview questions. So these are the questions that you need to answer uh, already inside the modules when you're still when you're not yet at the problem, problem set. set. So it's to understand the concepts more thoroughly, you need to solve some problems. So this is uh, all of them are 100%, so they're all perfect. So, of course, the average is 100% too. So, wait. The so, finals. the final exam is 72%. Well, yes. it's the, the passing rate is 60%. So, uh -huh. so, here... It was difficult, right? Yes, it was very difficult. I think it was like five times more difficult than the midterms. So, here, this is the homework... The total, the total homework is uh nineteen point zero nine percent out of a possible twenty percent. That's the uh, maximum 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 score you can ever get. So from the for the total for the grade. total grade. So in midterm for the midterm exams, I got forty point fifty percent out of a possible fifty percent. So if you get perfect, you get fifty percent. So for each of the midterms individually, that's twenty five percent. And then for the final exam, 18% out of 25%. So the finals and both midterms individually, they they contribute 25% each. each yes. And then the intervideo questions contribute 5% in total. And you got 5%, got 5 out, of out of them. So that's the total grade. That's uh, 83%. <laughs> nice. Congratulations, son. For finishing the general chemistry course university level at MIT at EDX offered by MIT. Yeah. Yahoo! Yeah.